All right, so this is going to be kind of an instructional video on how to <coughs> mount a uh, compass onto a boat. Um, I've got this compass that has an LED light. Um, as you can see, um, the compass works. The LED light is red, and you know if you get out on the lake and all your electronics go dead and you need to find your way back to the shore then you know you want to be able to navigate especially at night as well because once it turns dark it kind of gets hard to navigate on the water because things appear that you didn't see during the day such as lights and stuff like that so this is what my dash kind of looks like it's a 1987 uh, bay liner with an outboard uh, 85 horse motor um, so what I'm gonna do is is I don't want the LED light on all the time and I don't want it on during the day so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna attach it to the navigation light panel right here so I want to attach it to the switch so when I hit the switch on I want it to sorry about that I want it to uh, be on as well I'm not so worried about the anchor light because when I have the anchor light on it's just the back uh, 360 white light to the rear of the boat so when I'm navigating I want to have that on so what I'm going to do is is <clears throat> I'm going to mount this uh, up over here somewhere around in here so it's uh, it's easily visible um, it's out of the way and you know you can still see it when you're driving so if I'm facing the boat hey look you know I'm pretty much facing due east so that's pretty accurate and then what I've done is I've already preset the wires coming out of it and put male end caps on it as you can see I put some male end caps crimped them down and then I just wrap some electrical tape around to help support the wires in there as well as uh, I got female connectors covered female connectors on about uh, I would say about a foot and a half of uh, 16 gauge wire. Uh, I use black for negative or neutral and I used uh, red for of course positive so um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to drill holes in here and then I'm going to route my wires down over here to the switch. I estimated about a foot and a half worth of uh, electrical cable, so um, that should that should do. So what I've done so far is I went ahead and kind of prepped it. Um, on my panel, I've got plastic clip here, plastic clip here. What you do is you just take a flathead screwdriver, you pop this little pin out, top and bottom, and then what happens is, is these pins come out and basically it falls right out in front of you so what I'm gonna do is figure out which one's negative which one's positive and then I'll just cut these ends off and I'll wire them together and then I will put new ends on it and connect them up make sure it works before I do all the drilling and all that fun stuff or you know I just might put the compass over here because uh, uh, it looks like it might sit here a little bit better um, but you want it straight somewhat towards the boat so it looks about even um, so I might end up putting it over here but I'll uh, do some figuring and decide from there so as you can see I got my holes drilled I got two of the mounts drilled and then I got an additional hole drilled for the wiring to go down through so what I'll do is uh, when I go to mount this up, underneath there's a 3M sticky pad or sticky pad to help mount it up. I'll cut little grooves in there, um, just along the side, just enough room for the wire to go down in. And then when I secure this down, it'll kind of hold the wires down, but at the same time, it won't smash the wires. I mean, this is only plastic, so it'll bend and give a little bit. But uh, as you can see, um, the mount will cover up the hole, the wires will run back and down underneath, 
keep it all nice and neat and uh, professional looking. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the sticky put on it and the little groove cut out and I will show you that aspect. Alright, so I got it cut and you can see where the grooves are, uh, where the wire will sit inside and there's a little round hole so the wires can actually do a little bit of a bend. Um, and then you can see up here I have uh, cleaned it off so the tape will help stick uh, for mounting reasons. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get her mounted up, at least stuck up there, and then uh, we'll see about uh, how well it will work. Alright, let's see if I can't get the camera to stay there as I uh, attempt to uh, make this work. So, go ahead and get these pushed through. Maybe I should have made the hole just a hair bigger. But I'd rather have it not too big. Massively big, because if it's massively big, then I have issues with it. So, come on. I think the tape is starting to cause some issues. needs a little help from the inside. <clears throat> I like to listen to music when I'm working on stuff. Alright, so got the wires pulled through. And what I'll do is try and get that to stay there. Now here comes the challenging part is gonna be trying to get this thing to stick in the exact spot that I need it to so it will stick and stay so what I'll do is I'll tip it up like so make sure those holes line up come down like so alright here comes somewhat the moment of truth And because of the angle that it's at, it has Oops. I'll get this stuff on here. What's going on? Alright, so I gotta use a contraption like this, attached to my DeWalt. Um, it's a 90 degree extension uh, it helps tremendously so now I gotta find the screws which is common in my practice of uh, all the stuff that I set here and there and uh, get them all kind of confused and mixed up and set stuff on my left set stuff on my right yeah so Anyways, set that screw down before I drop it and lose it. Alright. So now we're going to do the first screw. Well, looks like it screwed in there okay. I just haven't made it completely tight yet because uh, I like to get all the screws in before I tighten them all down. And well, there we go. So now, now this is not a very expensive uh, compass. So, you know, I'm going to have to do some leveling off. Uh, there's an east and west level. And I've got a north and south over here on the other side, so. Uh, plus, the boat's on a trailer, and it is uh, sitting in the street, so of course it's not going to be level, but it is 
somewhat level. So, I almost, as you can see, I almost have enough room, but I like to give myself some extra working room, so that's where these uh, will come in handy. And I'll attach them in there, and I'll cut probably just past this last grip right there. And uh, hardwired in uh, blue, I'm finding is uh, the positive. The negative is the lead, or the the gray is the neutral or negative. The blue is the positive. Or in a sense, this goes to the lights and they're grounded at another point. So this is the end. And then it gets switched on and it travels through the gray. So, but with the LED, DC, it doesn't matter on this one. It can be either way. So, uh, I will get these hooked up and wire cut down and go from there. Okay, now I know the throttle is kind of in the way, so I'm going to try and hold it to where you guys can see it. Um, there's multiple different ways of connecting two wires. You can put them together this way, solder them. You can put them together this way, twist them, solder them. Um, as you can see, I already done the positive and put the female end already on it so it's ready to hook up. So what I like to do when I'm hooking them up this way, and my dad had taught me this, that you kind of you fan out the, the strands so you can smash them down. Just kind of get them to fan out and do the same you know do it on both and what you're gonna want to do is take them together and then you kind of intertwine them so they're intermixed with each other and then you twist them together uh, it helps the continuity it helps connection um, and everything else so uh, it also help keep the wires from coming apart and um, uh, it makes wires stick together a little bit better and then when you go to put your connector on it'll smash all the wires and if you got one that might not have twisted as well as the other one did it'll pinch it all together and all in there and it'll share it so and then uh, once you put the crimper on to help support the cables while you're pushing them in and out and stuff like that just go ahead and wrap it with a uh, black electrical tape or from here you could solder it so you know it's not going to come apart and then put the connector on and go through that route but for this one I'm just putting a female connector on and uh, call it good okay well let's see it's raining now so I threw the tarp up on the boat and uh, I'm having a few issues with uh, getting it working the way it's supposed to be working but as you can see now uh, I've got it on and what turned out was the problem I ran into is when I ran the wiring and tested to see if it could work uh, it was bypassing the, the actual switch which I should have known and was just on the whole time and then when I kicked the switch on it would take the juice away bypass it it would shut off and my navigation lights would come on so then I routed it I routed the positive to the LED uh, for the compass uh, on the back side of the switch and then what I ended up doing was running the negative down here underneath and it is actually right here where you can see my finger. It's the blue one right there. I attach the negative onto the negative because as you can see, this is the fuse fuse box. It's a old style, uh, really old. So I got the idea that I'm uh, gonna wanna upgrade it. So anyways, with that being said, uh, I tested it before I connected it, it worked. So when I turn my navigation on, the light comes on. When I turn my navigation off, the light goes off. I uh, failed to uh, double check the the uh, circuitry uh, and how it was going to work. So hold on. As ow. 
as you can see now navigation switch is on lights on switch it off light goes off switch back on light goes on switch it off so it's all working now all I'm gonna do is put the panel back and that'll conclude it <laughs> yeah interesting when it starts raining throw a tarp on and just keep on working uh, rain it eh, won't slow me down so I'll uh, put this all back up and I think it's supper time because the wife just got home with the kids from Toys R Us buying toys not my kind of toys but kid kind of toys so uh, anyways that's the finished uh, product right there I'll get her buttoned up and we'll call it good <laughs>